Oh, hell yeah. We have, ironically, yet another Ferrari V12 massive transformation and reveal going down in this video. And yet, right now we're all driving Lamborghinis. We got the Revolto. We've got Dave's crazy one of 50, one of one Lamborghini Corsa, And we got Skinny in the Huracan 580-2 that actually looks like a Technica now, man. Dude, that front end, I can't even get over how insane that updated that car. And that's the best part about Lamborghini when it comes to this platform. And I sometimes joke and call it the Honda Civica supercars. And that is the fact that they keep everything in the core of the car there, like the engine, the transmission, a lot of the spec, the interior and all that. And then they upgrade the parts and the look over the 10 year period of that car. And you can actually get an older generation version of these cars that are perfectly good, absolutely amazing, same power and output. And then bam, make it look like the brand new motherfucker that Lamborghini charges someone twice the amount for, right? I like that intro. That was good. I got, hey, pumped, I got pumped up off that. Good. Right? Let's go. Like, how about how you, need how this, you need carbon brake. I'll, I will say, no. oh, oh you shit. 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 you've never, shit. never experienced it. It's a little shit. Is it a game changer? They argue, the chat will argue that it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Oh, it makes a difference. We have brake dust, but everything else, yeah. Great dust. By the way, Dave, you killed it, man. We let you actually have your own decisions and you killed it. Sometimes you get a little crazy, you know, you know golden sh but right now this is pretty dialed. Uh, I killed it, but Nick at volume two really executed it. That car is dirty right now. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, it's pretty dirty. And I think it's the exact amount right of orange. Some people in the comments are like, oh, add orange to this, to that. No, 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 no. Just right. Then you look Otherwise like it gets tacky. Yeah, Mia, your great. car is coming along. I'm super excited for you, girl. We are, speaking of wraps, working on some colors, potentially a livery, which could include multiple colors. And guess what? Our boy Nick from volume two wraps will be doing the install. Thank you, Nick. He reached out and wanted to sponsor Mia. So again, Nick's saving you on the budget. He really him is. so busy. He's doing Tim's car right now. Oh, yeah. Then Tim's. the minivan. That's right. Coming soon. And then Mia's car. Yes. I wish we could keep Nick full time just for DD and be busy for the rest <laughs> of his life. What are you getting, David? Drinks? Dumb sh gas stations. By the way, speaking of gas stations and road trips, when your car is done, where are we gonna go? We have to do a drive. We go to Vegas. Oh, do you want to go to Vegas? Vegas? Vegas. I'm, in. I'm in on that. We gotta be careful because it's gonna be snowy up there. All Actually, the way to Vegas. We can't. We've been it's caught in it before. We've been yeah. caught in it. Really? By the I've way, never seen snow in Vegas. So you guys look so good in the new DD Racing merch. So if you want, go to the link in description or right at the bottom is actually our store and you can go select some of the new merch from the DD Merch That's racing true. line. We have a bunch of cool stuff. We also have now plate frames, jet tags, keychains. Go pick something up. Thanks for supporting us. All your Christmas shopping is done from one website. That's right. Shop.com. Shop Shop.com. Yeah, grandma. Grandpa, shop.com. You were baby, there's no kids clothes, but. Shopdd.com. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna turn it on for y'all. Turn it on. Come on, we need the start up here, right? We haven't put it like this. Oh, the wing even went off.
it's the holiday season. And thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video because, well, I wouldn't have gotten Tim a gift if otherwise. So I got Tim the Chairman Pro package. I'm gonna deliver it to Tim here while he's in the bathroom. Hey Tim, I got you something. I got you a gift. Jesus, Stacy here, Tim. Here, take your gift. For me? What is it? Oh, it's the Chairman Pro package. Thanks, Mike. You're welcome. Are you done? Here? Yeah, I'm done. This isn't just any shaver, Tim. This has a 360 degree contouring head. It also has two skin safe blade attachments. You've got the skin safe four blade foil for a super close shave and the skin safe stubble trimmer for when you want to keep a bit of that rugged look. Both heads are designed to help reduce razor burn and irritation. One of my favorite features is the flex adjust technology. The blades and pivoting head flex and adjust to the contours of your face and neck, ensuring you get a close, comfortable shave. Thanks for letting me break it in for you, Tim. Oh, okay. With up to 75 minutes of runtime on a single charge, you won't have to worry about running out of juice mid-shave. It even has a travel lock to ensure it doesn't accidentally turn on in your bag. Plus, the LED spotlight helps you see every detail, ensuring nothing gets missed. Man, it's waterproof. There you go, Tim. The package also includes the Power Shave Gel to get the ultimate wet shave experience. This non-irritating, lubricating formula is made specifically to work with the Chairman Pro. It's dermatologist tested for sensitive skin. It's dye-free, cruelty-free, vegan, alcohol-free, and free from parabens and phthalates. So you know you're using something great for your skin. To finish off, we have the Face Shave Soother. This aftershave serum is a game changer. Use it after shaving to hydrate your skin and soothe any post-shave irritation. If you're looking for the perfect gift this holiday season or just want to upgrade your grooming routine, the Chairman Pro package is the way to go. Enjoy your gift, Tim. And if you guys want to get your own Chairman Pro, go to manscaped.com and use code DDE to get 20% off plus free international shipping. It's the holiday season after all, so get somebody a gift like I got for Tim. Merry Christmas, Tim. Thanks, Mike. Oh, he's lining up. You know what he said? Those lights up there is exactly a quarter mile from here. <laughs> oh, he's getting the jump on you. <laughs> Got him. Almost at the spot. We're going to see Evan, our boy at the auto body shop, transmission shop. The 599. I showed you guys that last time. A little teaser. That's right. A Zero Dino Blue full color change. And even better, a full wheel reveal. You guys are getting it all on this one. All right, Mia. Big moment right now. Let's do this. It's cool. Look. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. We got to see if he has a cover. We got to do a proper reveal here. Cover it up and then uncover it. <laughs> it's YouTube, baby. Look at the front end of the Revolto. That looks so crazy. These lights, when Lamborghini made these lights, they were not messing around. That's not fair, man. Oh, That's too good. Wow. That's too nice for us. It honestly, we don't deserve that. It turned out way better than I anticipated. No offense, please. So this is my all time favorite color from Ferrari. That is not the classic bright Ferrari red. I do actually love Ferraris in red. Ferraris in red do look amazing. It does look amazing. Classic. Right? But if you had to go with something other than red, this is my choice. Now I gotta walk around to the side because there's also new wheels on this car. And then I'm gonna reveal everything to you guys. Damn, bro. Ooh. That was the right, that was the right choice. When, we were, right when choice. we were talking about it. it. Came out how we wanted. Holy. Well, first of all, I gotta say thanks to this guy because He's been going absolutely ham on this car for a couple of reasons. One, I crashed this car into a K rail in the I rear. I forgot about that. Yeah. And I also crashed this car into one of the plastic barricades. So I damaged I remember that. driver's side, front fender, and bumper. Mm -hmm. And then the rear bumper and a bit of the trim, right? Yeah. I did quite a number on this. Now, like Dave said, we intended to buy the 599s and manual convert them and then do like clutch kicks and just turn them into block beaters, which turned out to be a bit of a bad idea. They're really a great street car. And they sound insane with obviously the race headers and the exhaust and the manual conversion is so much fun. But there's something about you trying to beat on that, that manual system. The clutch system doesn't like it, which there's not much you can do because it is 
the, the gearbox from Ferrari. Going back to where the whole idea of getting 599s came from was that I actually genuinely always wanted to have one. It was that classic Ferrari V12. I knew it was the Enzo engine. I knew with a straight pipe exhaust, it sounded absolutely madness. Alex did a crazy tune on it. So I said to Dave, hey, that'd be a good, that'd be a good car. He got one and then I was super jelly, tons of FOMO. Dave found me this one. And this car is actually from Japan. Yeah, it's from Japan. So this car is from Japan. I bought it on Facebook Marketplace. No, I even joke. Yeah. I negotiated through the messenger and tore their face off in the price. <laughs> we stole this car. And they were both black, which Literally. was kind of fun. Twinning black 599s, yeah. both manually converted, both with the exhaust systems, but both kept breaking. So in the end, Dave did his in gold uh, chrome, <laughs> as Dave does. Yeah. And I did mine in Rosso Corsa classic Ferrari red from a Nozatech, but then I crashed it into that stuff. And in the end, I was like, what are we gonna do with these things? And Dave and I sat and pondered for the longest time and it resulted in, let's fix them up and just turn them into really good street cars because they're a ton of fun, they're super theatrical. And if we take these out to the events down here, people are gonna love them. So that's what we did and I wanted to clean mine up. Dave's was always pretty clean because he didn't crash his. And in the end, Evan, sir, come over here. You deserve all the props Why for this so because Evan, also so brand new Evan. wheels. Smile. By the way, here's the thing. Evan's always like this. So if you think, <laughs> Evan's always like this. By the way, you guys. So what side should I reveal this car on? Should I do it from this side? I think so. All right, you guys. Three, two, one. Complete transformation. Bam. <laughs> Azuro Dino Blue with gold BBS wheels, thanks to Ron at AR Motorworks. This color scheme really came through the inspiration of a brand new 992 GT3 RS that I saw on Instagram that was a version of a bright blue from Porsche and it had gold wheels. That's what I went with for the inspo on this car and I don't know, man, I'd like to say, <laughs> nailed it, nailed it, right? 100%. But it wouldn't have been possible without this gentleman fixing this whole area. And then also on the back over here, I ended up with Jason as a passenger, knocking this whole corner into a K rail while sliding this thing around on the block. There are a few things that are different now on this car. A new duckbill wing, exactly like the style that Dave has on his car. We just bought a slightly not so cheap eBay version. <laughs> Mine was bad. Yeah, This is a better version of that. It has actually really nice weave. It's got a really nice lip right here. And then Evan and I went ahead and did the old classic paint the underside. And we also changed the chrome logos to black logos up here and here and the diffuser had some damage on it he actually has a carbon homie where's the carbon homie down in the basement he keeps the carbon guy in the basement good job buddy the carbon diffuser's all fixed up looking better than ever and the carbon homie is making me a front splitter and that's actually a bit of a funny story because how hard was it to buy a splitter for this car off the internet we ordered four four and what happened every time after seven to ten days of waiting yeah. They cancel them. So we made our own. Interior of this car is quite clean. It's quite good, except for, bam, this show of a dash. So the next step of restoring my 599 will be redoing the entire dash. Actually gonna take the handbrake out of here. We're gonna redo the console so it's all clean around the shifter. Just get this bad boy dialed in, and then we're gonna put some miles on this thing hey, and have some fun. Those are not your mirrors. <laughs> they are my mirrors. Those are originally Where my they mirrors. From? They came from my car. I bought you the car with your money. There was a cat. What the hell? Oh my God, let's one down. I you're want to take to one home with me. I'm going to put it in my carry-on bag. Jack the kitty. I just can't get enough, and I also can't thank Evan enough. And the way that you guys can help me thank Evan is by simply giving him a follow on his Instagram. It costs you absolutely nothing, and he does really epic car projects all the time, and they're not all just exotics. Like you, I'm also into the classic cars, 
like this beautiful Fastback Mustang. Among other cars, he's had low riders here. It's a great mix of automotive culture. SoCal Auto Restorations. Go give him a follow. By the way, he's only got 2248. We're gonna pump those numbers up, baby. Those are rookie numbers. Let's get those numbers up, DD fam. And if you want, get your car painted here or get your body work done here. Or if you want, just call Evan if you need some water. Cause he actually owns a water company. He's got a paint shop, a transmission shop, a water shop. That's actually all his water. He has a fridge right there. Come in, say hi to Evan, walk through the door, yell his name, Evan, bottle of water. Walk in, help yourself. No parking, don't block gate. But my bill here is paid, let's go. We'll pick this thing up soon after the carbon splitter's done. We're out, more shenanigans. Oh, I have an idea. All right, it's the next day. We got Evan, our boy, over here because I want to show him a little bit of gratitude for making such an epic 599 for me. And I know some of you have said, hey, we love the merch, but why does it say racing? You guys don't do any racing. Well, hold on. First of all, I did do some racing. Was I a pro? No, but we all start somewhere, and I didn't start when I was a kid because my parents never got me into racing. But I did get race cars, remember? Dave had that McLaren GT4 and I had the Evo 2 and I very much did enter my ass as an amateur in a pro series on grid life to go and race at Laguna Seca. Now, I don't care if I came in last or had the slowest time. I had a ton of fun. I learned a lot. I didn't crash the car and that was technically racing. And I had all the race gear to do it. Now, we do need to get back to some of the racing, which is why. I built this thing. This is the world's only Ferrari F12 race car. There's not another one that I know of that's fully caged and fully built like this and running on standalone. So this will become the racing stuff that we will be doing at a high level. Will it be in a race series? No, but it's gonna be race car-esque. Also, we're gonna go do some racing today because I just wanna bring the racing back to DDE. So I grabbed my helmet, that's right, my racing helmet, my Hans device, and we got Dave to grab his, and we got that's Evan. On this bad boy. We got Evan a rental helmet, so hopefully you don't, <laughs> hopefully you don't get any lice, homie. Hopefully it works. We're gonna take the boys today, we're gonna go on an epic drive, and we're actually gonna go and do some racing. Throw the helmet in the DDE racing. Oh, look at that. I also have a racing front end on my Mercia Lago. Oh, and Dave, you also have the racing kit, period correct, for your Squadra Corsa with a racing livery, which means we do actually need to go do some racing. So are you excited for this? Oh, I'm pumped, dude. Nothing beats that thrill and the adrenaline. So we have who coming? Eric Choi. So we have Eric Choi. We've got Nick, who actually wrapped my car from volume two. We've got Ryan, who's been to jail, has tattoos in his face. <laughs> Evan's coming. And who else comes along the way? So pretty good crew. And good we have drive. an hour and a bit drive. Yeah, it's an hour and a half. Track. Yeah. So let's head to the track. Let's get some DD shenanigans in on the way. And let's go do some racing, fam. Oh, it feels good to be back in the Masialago. That manual shifter. By the way, our very good friend, James Walker, that's right, Mr. JWW over in the UK, has a new video, and he did. He pulled the trigger, you guys. If you haven't seen it, go and support our boy. Go and check out his channel at the end of this video and watch his recent reveal. You'll know which one it is, because he teases the car. That's right, he got a V12. We have corrupted Mr. JWW. Not such the gentleman anymore. <laughs> Hey, look at this. Look at this hoodie, man. <laughs> Thanks good. for stopping by. Yeah, we drove all the way from Seattle. What was your name? Colin. Hey, nice to meet you, Colin. Nice to meet you, David. Get in there, man. Pretty good job, actually. Hey, he's got it. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Drive safe. Yeah. We're off to do some racing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. Someone's got the Stig. In. Uh oh The Stig personalities come out. One thing that is crazy about the Mercia Lago, specifically my Gen 1, and the way that it's tuned by Alex with the exhaust is this crazy crackling. Listen.
Thing. Yes. You were in the Pelotis. Yes. Dude. We are going to... Amazing. Don't they don't know where we're going yet. They know we're uh, racing, okay. but they don't know they what circuit. Them. Don't tell them what circuit. Don't make them wait. Don't tell them what classification of vehicle. Oh, I'm wearing the right And you shoe. have your we race all wore, We all wore our racing shoes. Yeah. These are really nice. We have though. our more friends over here. We're getting lined up. You have the GT3 RS out today. Yes. So this is going to be the best track day ever. Let's yeah. go. Dude, yeah. I brought a race car with a race front end. My car is on slicks, so good luck to all you guys. Oh, man. On slicks. By the way, they're DOT approved slicks. They are a street legal slick to be driven to the track. What's up, boys? What's up? Nick is a rap legend. F Eminem. That's right. And dude, the golf livery, Damn, everybody is loving good. the golf livery in the comment section. So I thank love, you for doing I, that. I got you, bud. I love this. I, I love that look. Yeah, I yeah. love that look. Here's the thing you either love it or you hate it. I love that I love, yeah. I love this whole car. The more louvers, the better. Dude, I haven't driven this car in a hot minute and it's driving really good right now. I got one more piece to the puzzle. I got one more of the actual Ryder Engineering parts okay. from Germany. It's at my shop. Mike's going to put it on this week. Okay. Can you guess more what it come. is? More to come. Can you guess what it is? More louvers? <laughs> <laughs> louvers in the hood. It's rear louvers. <laughs> be racing these cars we're gonna be racing 80 mile per hour go-karts we drove all the way out to k1 the circuit that's not the indoor track you know this is the outdoor track here in california and they got some seriously fast machinery here we're gonna put everybody against each other so start placing your bets right now who's gonna take it home they're electric carts but they're outdoor and a much bigger racetrack. Nick, are you ready to go with this fake carbon fiber helmet? You're looking at who's gonna win. You're looking at who's gonna win. <laughs> Stop bashing your helmet! This is a brand new outdoor facility. Now, in order to get on there and go full throttle, unfortunately, you have to work your way up. There's a license program. So, unfortunately, today, we won't do 90 miles. How fast are we gonna go? It's the top speed. What are we starting off at? How much? 50, 55 miles an hour. Oh, that's, that's, that's not bad. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty fast. What's, pretty the, what's the fastest? 90? 80. It is pretty fast on the go kart yeah. side. Yeah. By the way, Ryan's very nervous. Is it out here? So when we get out there, let's bully him into the wall. Sure. Here. Seriously. Yeah. You want to do it? That is the ugliest car Ferrari's made. <laughs> Damon Fryer, there's your race license, my friend. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, it's our turn to race. I can't read the camera. So we have GoPro. So I'm going to put you guys in here in the locker. I'll see you after the race. Let's freaking go, man. Time to get a little competitive action going. I know only cause I gotta do collect the dough Two 
fire for the matches. Do the math, kid, put me in a race the average. Sad, zero to a hundred, that's the band with standing. My hands don't dance on your desk, you can't. Two fists, I'm a problem, nuisance. Who's with anybody, not me, they losing, I'm proof that. Even when you die, keep it moving, the movement is never gonna stop, man, I do this. Go on, light them up. Two, that's fine with us. Three, come on, light them up. So much fun. That one corner. Hey, into the barrier. Dude, it was <laughs> scary. Was it you? Yeah. That's you oh, it's Ryan. You know? Yeah. Hey, you went it, out. into the barrier? Yeah. I was back. <laughs> yeah, and I hit him. Push him to the other track. Rubbin's racing. How much fun was this? You guys have a good time? Oh, man. I had a good man. time. That was more fun I, than I anticipated. Dude, it was, it was so, fast. so fast, so crazy, and we earned our silver licenses. That means next time we can go faster, and we're going to work something out with the track so we can come here and add some more GoPros. What if we a DDE meet here? fans come here we did a whole day i'm down they have a huge come parking lot Damon. look at the size look, look at the size of the parking lot we could do a block party here oh, oh, oh no you did Base community event at 7 Eleven. This is a 7 Eleven car meet. Yeah. 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 Welcome to an LA car meet. What's up? Yeah. What up, bro? It's crazy. Yeah. Damn, this place is packed. This is a 7 Eleven. Hello, what's up? How are you guys? Gumball vibes right now. almost like a finish line for gumball man it's awesome everybody's out what's up guys man 7-eleven gets down yeah ryan you us at dinner time hell yeah that was at dinner time you got that dinner that churros or dinner oh you're eating what i wish i could eat the chill sunday night jesus hey shirt thank you that. Yeah. This is the block party or online? Yes. This is at the block party. Nice. Yes, sir. So this is a meet the owner of the 7-Eleven allows us to happen. He basically shuts down this gas station for a few hours. Doesn't this kind of feel like like coming into the end of like a gumball? Oh, dude. Like totally. the way everyone's surrounding, you're pulling in? Yeah. Okay, look at this. Yeah. What the hell? Yo, that's how you get down at 7-Eleven. Hey? Who's the loudest? No, this side. This side. Dave, you got jet tags? No, we have them all away. All right. Psych. Hold on. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh! Another one. I got another one. Who was it? Easy on the mercy. Easy on the mercy. Yeah. 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 You got here to shop TV.com. This is playing right now for free. God, you guys, they're at shopdd.com. Base community kills it, you guys. Shout out to them. Moses and the whole team, that's why we partner with them for the block party to get the word out. Because look at the turnout that they can bring out with the car community. Shout out to them and shout out to the owner of the 7-Eleven for hosting this. There's very few places you can go, come out, have a good time, be peaceful, be respectful, but get together like this and just chill. What a way to finish the night with the homies. You wanna know who won, by the way? Yeah. Eric Joy. Eric's the fastest, I think. Damon Fryer, number one. Really? And then followed by Eric, yeah. Nick, me, Evan, Ryan. I'm only. Who the hell is Kenneth? I'm gonna Kenneth kick you by two seconds. We have a supercar, so which is faster? Oh, so oh. he's cheating. So you are first. So cheater. Cheater. We had a great yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the next one.